Are you milking the clock? No, what? No, I'm I'm drinking. See? You're drinking on the job. <sighs> it's um, just what I figured. It's, wa it's water. It's just water. See? <laughs> Welcome back to me vlog, I am Lord Felton Harcourt Osgood from The Third, so glad to see you, I'm doing wonderful, thanks. We have a special treat for you today, coming up right after this great sound effect and quick cut. Tonight we bring you a special segment called Master Debaters. With our cast of cunning linguists, myself and uh... Clarence Spreadsheet. Clarence. Clarence, Clarence Spreadsheet and his uh, mall. We're going to have a debate about a very important topic, and uh, it's going to be wonderful. I think. Yeah. yeah. We've been, we found out they're adding a day to the week. Have you heard this? They're adding a day to the week. So what we're going to debate, whether they should add this to the weekend, or if it should be a work day. Well, obviously, it should be a weekend. Wrong! Wrong, wrong, wrong. How do you figure? It should be a weekday, I don't people should work. People should, why would, you, why would you want to add another weekday so people could work? People already work on Saturday. Originally, the weekend was just one day. And then the unions came in. Exactly. We need I, time to relax. The relaxing, no way. What do you mean, no way? No way. How yeah. do you figure? You know that song, Working for the Weekend? Yes, I do. Well, you gotta earn that, baby. Yes, but what about all the hammock manufacturers? Hammock manufacturers are gonna sell loads more hammocks in the long run, if there's another day at the weekend, which is good for business. The hammock uh, lobby isn't very strong, so uh, being a golden parachute man myself, I, I think uh, the rest of you need to work so I can earn that. No, 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 just get out. No, 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 I'm taking over. This is my show now. Wait, what, what? Yep. No, wait, yeah. I'm, yeah, tell I'm buying you out. Well, oh. Tell him. Yeah, buying you out. You're fired. Out. Clear out your desk. Come back here! Tell me how to work this thing! Hey! Hey, yo! So, evidently, uh, according to the script tape to the floor here, um, I gotta ask, who won the debate? That's the question this week. That's, that's your job. I hope we're not paying you for that. Who won the debate? All right, all right. Um, this is viewer responses from la questions last week. Um, I can't read this handwriting. I have no idea what this says. Who wrote this? I wrote it. You wrote this? Yeah, I wrote that. It's my show. I the wrote green it. cow can write. We need you to read this. V viewer mysteries, right at the top. Real big letters. All right, here's the deal. What? I'll pay you twice what I gave you for the show to do this. You didn't give me anything for the show. Exactly. I'm in. Okay, viewer mysteries from last week. You gave me mysteries to solve because I'm amazing like Sherlock. So, the first mystery. From Sarah Stowe, she asks, um, who's the boss? Who really was the boss? The answer was Bruce Springsteen. Skitstorm posted, who put the chocker in the chocker Demas and pliers? Well, and since nobody really cares about reggae from the 1990s, the correct answer is their record label. And of course, Salsa Sterling, who watches the Watchmen? Not enough people in the United States for it to make its money back. Okay, time for birthdays. Am I doing the birthdays as well? Yeah, you're doing the birthdays. This is for the week of July 13th through the 9th. It's over there. I knew it was over there. July 13th through the 19th. Happy birthday to Matthew Miller. I own him. Happy birthday to Jim Lewis. I own him too. Ha happy, happy birthday to Nick Glover. Not on the payroll. Happy birthday to Eric Pearson. Do I own him? I don't think so. Get him. Happy birthday to Bambi! I don't want a Bambi. She's hot. Okay, get her too. And a very, very happy birthday to Lilibeth Sterling! Yay, Lilibeth Sterling! You can't have her, she's one. Too small, throw her back. And happy birthday to Matt Figgis. I fired him. Oh, I liked him. He was gonna help me fix me bicycle. Even though I don't have legs. It's a hand-powered bike. Anyway, make sure you like The Ridiculous Puppet Company on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, get all me vlog updates right away, and of course, follow, like, what do you do on Twitter? Follow us on Twitter! You're a twit. I mean, uh, right, well I've been Lord Felton Harcourt Osgood from the third, you've been the audience, I've been terrific, 